All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology forecast. This is for Tuesday, May 1st, 2018. All right, so very quiet day in the astrology. Should be short and sweet video here. Um, basically, what we have is the moon is in Libra, uh, the first half of the day, shifting into Scorpio, the later part. So Libra, as it was the past day, basically on Monday, there was uh, more than likely themes around relating, uh, finding perhaps harmony and cooperation in relationships, um, this type of thing, maybe even bringing some balance into our lives. But as the day does unfold, the moon does go into deep Scorpio. So uh, for the next couple days, more than likely themes about deeper feelings coming up, uh, practicing things like vulnerability with ourself, with life, and with relationships, and of course, um, anything that we can empower ourselves through by facing any fears is always really good with the moon in Scorpio. So the moon will be trying in Chiron. I think it's a great day for healing and we are still coming off of this full moon from just last Sunday and Monday. So still definitely the heightened part of the lunar month. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Tuesday. So again, this channel is for sidereal astrology. If you're not sure what that is, do check out the link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so here's the sky, the moon finishing Libra, the scales, as was the case yesterday. I think the first part of today, themes around a balance. So this is, of course, in our personal life, always a great time with this energy to find balance in our life, seeing if there are any areas that need adjustments, bringing more energy into certain areas, this type of thing to find that uh, medium ground. Now, in terms of relationships, of course, Libra is very much about this. And so more than likely themes also about relating, right? So give and take, again, scales, doing the just thing, the right thing, the balanced thing, um, cooperation, all of this type of stuff could be the backdrop and always good to do this when the moon is in Libra. All right, so as the day unfolds, the moon will be shifting into deep Scorpio, setting the stage for the next couple days of the deeper dimension and more than likely some healing. So uh, really good for this, the later part of the day, uh, if you are feeling that depth to get into it, right? To feel into it as best as we can. Um, practicing that vulnerability with our feelings and with life. Uh, the moon is the part of ourself that does want security. It is our feelings. It is supposed to be private as well. But when the moon goes into Scorpio, it can really unveil that. So being willing to unveil that, being willing to go deep, accept the deep feelings or whatever it is that comes up. And in uh, relationships, also letting those walls come down, right? That vulnerability there. Um, developing trust in relationships and this type of stuff is excellent when the moon is in Scorpio. So I think it's a great day for healing uh, nonetheless because the moon is going to be trining up to Chiron very much about this. It's not suggesting it necessarily will be a day of healing, but I think there's an opening to do so and anything that does involve that can be great. This can of course be physical healing, right? Um, but it can also be uh, psychological, spiritual, emotional, um, all types of uh, rejuvenation, essentially, really becoming aware of our wounds and healing them, however that might uh, be. All right, so that's the uh, moon. And of course, uh, as a backdrop, the sun is still in Aries. So there is still this development of fire energy. Uh, we did just have this full moon. So we are still in the very heightened phase of the lunar month. But of course, as we continue for the coming weeks, still great to be gaining energy through taking action, through asserting ourselves, taking initiative, being independent, right? It's independent energy. All of this is a source of prana and life force with the sun in Aries at this time. Uh, Venus is, of course, in Taurus. So I think we can be enjoying the simple pleasures of life, the material life, as well as Earth. Um, also, when it comes to our relationships as well with Venus here and Mercury, of course, still in Pisces. So our minds are still very much in the unconscious realm, the spiritual realm, 
finding that peace and tranquility of the mind and even of the routine is also great at this time. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. Very simple day astrologically. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast.